there. Hey, I've got a second. Yes, it's another political one, obviously, with the shirt. I want to talk to you. You know the whole kerfuffle about IVF and if Trump gets in, there will be a national abortion ban. It doesn't matter what they say. What they have written in their plans is what matters, and it's there. The thing is, do you know why he has now flip-flopped his uh, IVF before he did? He didn't even know what it was. And if you don't remember when he first got into office, he had said, he was, what, 72 at the time? And he said that he, he never knew what NATO really was until then. I told you before, he never expected to win the first one. It was done on a lark to get some pub, public, you know, viewing. To have you on his lips. <laughs> okay? He never expected to win. It was a lark. He didn't want to be president. Then he found out all the shit he could do and all the power and money from other countries if he screwed America over. He didn't care about America, and he doesn't care now. And in fact, the reason he flipped his, his view on IBF, he didn't know what it was until a young senator, that's his words, a young senator explained it to me. She called and said, oh, no, 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 we can't do that. And, I'll t and he ex described her as hot. She's just so gorgeous, that kind of thing. So the only reason he listened to a woman and actually took the advice to do something and flip his, his viewpoint on something only because she was hot. He thought she was hot. Let that sink in for a minute. This misogynistic narcissist made a decision that if he gets into power again, all women will be able to have IVF because some hot woman that's also a senator told him that he should be for it. If he is that easily swayed, any country has to parade Putin, Jung, Korea, China, any of them can parade a young woman in front of him that, that's even, you know, average looking. And if he thinks she's hot or she has, a, you know, a good body or whatever he prefers then he'll listen to them and do what they suggest. If Joe Biden or Obama made those comments, do you think nobody would be reporting it? Do you think you'd hear the radio silence except for the few left places that are talking about it. Katie Britt, do you remember who Katie Britt was? She was the one that got on there like some trad, you know, Magford wife. And she was talking like this. And it's got in her kitchen. Do you remember that? Wearing that green dress. And by the way, in The Handmaid's Tale, the green is worn by the guys in charge, the, their wives. Not by the handmaids. The handmaids wore red. But all the women wore that green color. Just like in The Handmaid's Tale. You don't believe me? Go Google. Go look. Same damn green dress. And I like that color. But she was talking like this. And it's all going to go down in a fiery ball of hell. Do you remember that one? That's the one he thought was so stunning that he had to listen to her. Bet he was staring at her boobs the whole time. News alert, he was. <laughs> Thank you, phone. <laughs> um, this is who, if you vote for Trump, Vance, this is who you're leaving up 
to, if you're a woman, your decisions of your own body. If you're a man, your wife or girlfriends or daughters or nieces or nephews or aunt's bodies are not going to be allowed to be controlled by the person whose body it is. And they would rather save the life of a lump of cells than the life of a woman that is laying there with her legs spread right now at the doctor's office, breathing and alive with a life and a career and a, you know. But that is not as important as a little clump of cells. Please, please tell me that makes sense. Tell me how. Everybody has a right. The woman right there has a life. She's been alive for at least a decade, at least, to be having a pregnancy. But a clump this big is more important than that living person right there. Who, by the way, can do things that you men can never dream of doing. Like giving birth, like feeding another living being with their own body. Yeah. So don't try to put us down and bring us dragging by our hair, kicking and screaming back to that shit. Because those women put up with shit to create this woman. This is what America has. This is what makes America great. This right here who can tell you what she thinks and not worry about the police knocking on my door before I'm done with this broadcast and dragging me off to prison while my camera's running. I can do that now because my ancestors, my mom, my grandmother put up with the shit and fought. And I was born in 63 and I've been sh fighting for this shit too. And I am mad as hell about abortion because I was one of them that fought against it. About the whole reversal of Roe. I take that personally. And every single one of you women out there should also take it personally, especially right now, the ones who are old enough and registered to vote. I would take that incredibly personally. Every single one of those women that have died or been so damaged by this law physically that they didn't take care of the problem out of fear of the new laws, and so now she can't ever get pregnant again. There was damage done to her, her, her person, and now she can't conceive again. All of those stories that you're seeing, every single one of you registered women for voting should be taking this personally. You should be getting pissed off like it was your niece that was forced to carry a child that she tried to avoid having by taking birth control. Or, or your aunt who got raped. She got raped and pregnant and she died because she had a complication and she was in a state that was red and decided her life didn't matter. You all should be taking this very personally. The fact that he only believes a female and does anything is be if she if, depends on if he thinks she's hot or not. Your life is going to be determined by a man who only listens to women if they're hot or only listens to men if they're wealthy. Is that really what you want, America? Is that what you want? Because all of you Trump supporters, that's what you're voting for. That's what you're saying. Take the blinders off you have 13 days left. Because you're going to wake up 
If he wins and you helped him, you're going to wake up and when you start seeing that shit that we told you he will do, when you see that shit start happening, I don't want to hear one little peep or whimper from any of you who fought to let it happen. Keep that in mind. Because there will be a lot of people angry with a lot of other people if you allow that misogynistic, narcissistic, greedy bastard anywhere near that house of white again. Do not think that our patience and our love and our acceptance of people and our unconditional caring means that we have to be all buddy-buddy with you guys when we know you're the ones that just destroyed not only our country, but our lives as well. Do not think things are going to be rosy with us. I'm not saying we're going to hurt you or do the shit you do, but do not expect to get any cookies from us. No head pats, no cookies. Not when you do that shit. You are literally voting against yourself and voting against democracy. And let me tell you something about American democracy. There may be other democracies in this pl on this planet. Obviously there are. But there is nothing like the American democracy, the combination of types of government. Okay, there's never been one like that. This is it. That's the American experiment you hear said. The American experiment. This is it. The American democracy. And if you vote to let that fall because you listened to the Antichrist that the Bible that you so belovedly stick to warns you about. And they said the masses would be blinded and would not see him for what he is. And if you're a parrot sheep of, of Trump, then old McDonald is going to tell you what you can and can't do with your own body and with your own lives. Things that are not free speech, free action. And I'll tell you now, if you vote or voted for Trump Vance, you voted against democracy, you voted against America, and you actually voted against yourself. D Vance himself, his wife, if he does the deportation, if they do the deportation thing and they get in power, that they said, they said any immigrant, that means, he means, read the stuff. Anybody that is not white, he will le make leave. I don't care if you were born here. If your parents aren't white and they're, you're born here and you're not white, they're going to deport you. That means Vance's Indian wife and his half Indian children should also be sent where? They're from America. Where, where are they going back to? Okay? This is the kind of shit your little tangier, tyrannical tangerine uh, Trumpy cult daddy wants. And his own children are half Slovenian. So even though they're white, they're still half immigrant from somebody that's not American. What about that? And if he gets in power and he does what he says he will do, I can guarantee you those people I just mentioned won't be included. Is that the American way? Will he deport his children to some place that he decides he wants to? Because they're not, they've got immigrant, you know, another ancestry in them. Is that really the American way? Because that's, that's not what I learned in 61 years. I, that, that's, that's not the American way, people. It is not. It just isn't. Um, 
and all your posturing and all your yelling and all your gestulating and accusing doesn't change the truth. So I am done with my little let's put the clear glasses on and toss away the rosy colored ones. Class. Did you like it? But seriously, this is the truth. What I am telling you is not me trying to dissuade you from doing the proper thing, the humane thing. It's not. What I'm saying is true. And I really hope you believe that and you don't have to find out firsthand because you and others voted Trump and, and he won. If that's what happens, Don't expect anybody to feel for you when you say you were deceived, when you say you, you're you sorry, you really didn't know, you really believed him. You'll just be crying wolf at that point. Um, so think hard about who you choose to vote for. Think very hard. Because even though your party affiliation or who you voted for isn't tattooed on your forehead, well, at this point, Okay, just because doesn't make you any less guilty if you voted for him and he happens to, to win. It doesn't make you any less guilty if he didn't win, but you voted for him. You're still guilty of voting against America and your own life, your own freedoms you'll be voting against. I honestly hope you let this sink in because... For all my yelling, for all my passion, about caring and altruism, for all of that, I am not, you know, bullshitting. I'm not just doing it to get clicks. I only have, like, I don't even have 160 or... <laughs> followers to whatever 260 whatever it is I'm not doing it for popularity okay it's not theatrics when you see me upset like I was a little bit ago that's genuine people call me nuts people call me weird I don't care I've heard it for 61 years do you really think it still bothers me it hasn't bothered me in a very long time I like being the one that's not like everybody else. I used to hate it because I was taunted about it. But I enjoy that. I'm glad I'm not a little Stepford Magford wife. Okay? Now I am so grateful to everything and everyone that shaped me, good or bad. And it's not theatrics. Um... And it's passion that's for the humane side, not for the greedy side. And I just hope all these months of me making these videos, some funny, some very upset, some just like now, I hope it's somebody has stopped and thought, maybe I should listen to a few of those, pl those channels she mentions. Maybe I should look at something more than Newsmax or Fox. Maybe I should. Really? I didn't hear about that. What's that about? I never heard that. You're not going to hear about a lot of things he says or does or bans from those stations from those channels, you're not, because it makes them look bad. The people I watch and get my news from, they'll call out any party. They'll just 
call out who's wrong. That's me. And yeah, I can admit when the Democrats did, I do not like Nancy Pelosi's all the inside trading shit. There's a lot of stuff that's, that's not copacetic. When you share your inside trading stuff the day before it happens to a White House aide, that, that's not cool, Nancy. That's not cool. So they're, you and them are getting inside and getting to, to buy a stock that you know is going to go up the next day in 24 hours, and the rest of us don't get that information? That, that's, that's not legal. Everybody has to have the same information on stuff like that. And yes, when Menendez from my own state got busted recently about his gold bars and his tur Oh, God. Hello, Mr. Blue Jay. And Lark Robbins, you know, over in New York, okay? Yeah. The, the channels I listen to and the way I feel is, I'm mad. Yeah, they were Democrats, uh, Menendez. And I, I am mad as hell at him. Throw the book at his ass and his wife, is my opinion. I don't care what party they are. If they're doing illegal shit, throw the damn book at him and lock that prison door. That's, that's just the way it is. And if you think justice is, depends on who they are and what happened, they're all the same. If a poor Hispanic woman and a rich white woman commit the same act that's illegal, crime, they should both get the same consequences, and they don't. They don't. And that's not right. That's, that's very wrong. So I am not doing this as theatrics. I don't get paid by the Democratic Party. I've got, they don't probably even know I exist, okay? The, the, the folks, the Democrats on the Hill probably have no concept that I'm even alive in this world, but that's okay because they're my tribe because, because of the values Democrats hold. Not everyone is infallible. No one is perfect. People, people can be persuaded sometimes. I don't think you're a disgusting human being just for something like that not just, but I certainly believe you should be getting prison time and losing all of your status. That's just humane. Uh, you know, you don't have to beat the horse and then shoot it too. If you beat it to death, it's dead. You don't need to shoot it as well. And that is the way Republicans are. They just don't give up. Even when they have been proven to be lying and the entire planet knows whatever they're talking about they're lying about, they'll still look you right in the eye and tell you the lie and say, that is absolutely true. I swear to God, strike me dead. And they can lie to you the entire time. So don't, don't get fooled into that. Okay. I'm not answering it because it's not a call I need to take. In fact, probably just saying my prescriptions already. Um, please, please, if you're even considering voting for Trump dance, please just listen, okay? I have no reason to lie to you, okay? I'm in low income. I have a housing voucher to have this apartment. Okay, all the art, I didn't buy that. I made that, okay? <laughs> My curtains in here, I sewed them myself years ago. The other apartment. I'm just saying, maybe you should listen to a fresh voice that you haven't heard before to get a different perspective. If you're thinking about voting Trump walls, please, 
I'm, I'm beseeching you. And it's not because it's like, yeah, Democrats. It's, yeah, America won. Harris Wall's win is a American win. And I don't want to see this country's American democracy end. And they sit there and say, oh, we're fighting for this country and we won't have a country anymore. You'll have a country. You just don't, won't have an American democracy country. And that part is the part that should make you cry. Not the, or scare you, not the part of you won't have a country. Because if you take that apart, you won't have a country. That means you're homeless. You have no country. It's like the terminal where he's in the airport when his country goes to war. So he can't go back and he can't go in to where he was going. And what the hell happens? It's the same kind of an idea. Um, when they say you're not going to have a country, what the hell does that mean? What he's trying to say is you won't have the country you think you, you, you want. But he can't say that because that's a straight out lie. So the way they phrase it is you won't have a country anymore. If that was literally, literally what it meant, what he was t saying, so what? America just disappears from the planet. We won't have a country anymore. Just poofies, it's gone. And just a bunch of millions of people are just like sitting in the ocean with no country. I mean, really, what the hell does that mean? And he can't say you won't have a country of American democracy if you vote for them. Because that's an outright lie and you can get sued for that. That's the shit he plays. He leads the horsey to the water. He leads the little Republican elephants to the water. But you can't push their faces in. You can't put their trunk in the water to make them drink it. But you can help them come to it. And you can shove their little butts and push to get them to try. And you could scare them and make noise behind them like a lion. <laughs> But you're going to have a country. You just won't have the country you want. M pay attention to how he says things as well as what he says. Same thing with Vance. And let me tell you another thing about Vance. It is very well known in psychology and stuff like that that when you occasionally, when you're being interviewed and you occasionally, once or twice in the discussion, talk, mention the person's names. It shows that you're connected, you're paying attention, you're listening, okay, and you're speaking with that person. That's what doing that conveys. It relaxes somebody if they're nervous about interviewing you or something. It makes it casual, so they open up more, they feel more, you know, that that's a, that's a technique, a method. Um, Vance does it, watch, listen, when he um, interviews done by women. And he's interviewed by a woman, like Dana on CNN. That interview, he must have said her name 15, 20 times. I'm not joking you. Every sentence. Well, Dana, and when she disagreed, she goes, no, 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 that is not what the polling reports, or something like that. And he'd be like, now, Dana... He'd be like, now, Dana, that's not the whole... It, he twisted it. Instead of showing that I'm connecting and I, I am paying attention to this conversation, it has my attention because I remembered your name, he uses it and twists it, with, and he doesn't do it with women. I never hear him say, well, Brett, Brett, Brett. He never does that. It's only with women. It's only with women. Well, Dana, that's not really the truth. That's that's the shit he was pulling with her. That's the shit he pulls with all women who interview him. 
he makes it feel like he's trying to diminish that person. Instead of showing that he's connecting, he's showing I'm connecting and I'm showing that I'm overpowering you and always can. I can always over talk and out, you know, over talk you. Let that sink in. You watch some of his interviews that he's being interviewed by a woman. You'll see it's true. But a lot of people don't notice that and don't understand what he's doing. That's what he's doing, people. That is what he's doing. He's just as bad as the guy whose butt he kisses. And many times in the past said was the disgusting, was an American guy. And now he's got a little Cheeto stain around his mouth. Why did he do it? I'm sure to get to be a public figure and known, not just in Ohio. Oh, Ohio knows who he is now. He has put so much hardship, so much dissension, so much destruction just by their words and doubling and tripling down on it. It's not even a us-them type of thing, really, guys. Stop thinking in that way. And I can tell you, a lot of us are watching. There's been a lot of Republicans who have deserted Trump in the last six months. A lot of them did it after January 6th. But... Peace out.